so today I'll discuss about uh, primitive flow table so in second module the remaining portions are primitive flow table state assignment uh, then state reduction and the sensi diagram uh, then the final transition table from that Uh, digital circuits, uh, logic circuits. Okay, these are the remaining portions. So, with the one uh, question, one problem, I will explain all these areas. Okay, first one is uh, primitive flow table. So, flow table that is uh, restricted to how exactly one stable state in each row of necessary section it is called a, a flow table, primitive flow table. Okay. That I'll discuss with this uh, problem. Okay, the question is design a fundamental model, a synchronous sequential network meeting the following requirements. One is there are two input x1, x, x1 and x2 and a single output is set. x1, x2 never changes simultaneously. Output is always zero when x1 is zero independent of the value of x2. The output is one if x2 changes while x1 equal to one and this remains until x1 become zero again. So this is the question given. First we need to take the ideas from the question. In question it is given that x1 and x2 are the inputs. Okay. Z is the output. And it, it is written that output is always 0 when x1 is 0. That means z is 0 when x1 is 0. And output become 1 if x2 changes while x1 is 1. Output is 1 when x2 changes from x2 changes means x2 changes can be 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 so if this change happens at that time z is equal to 1 when x1 equal to 1 if these two conditions satisfy then here output is 1 here if x1 is 0 then definitely out, don't, don't need to check any other thing is output is 0 but if x1 is equal to 1 then we have to check x2 <coughs> and check whether there is a transition from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 transition is there exist at x2 if it is there then we can say that output is there output is 1 otherwise it is 0 so until x1 becomes 0 again so this condition will be satisfied until this x1 changes to 0 so first step is uh, draw the float diagram <coughs> okay first is the uh, this is called a flow chart or we can call it as flow diagram or flow chart like that how to draw this <coughs> see if you start like this you don't consider these letters a b c d you don't consider at this stage you just consider the zero zero combination okay first i am writing initially in, in this in problem initially you have to start with the zero zero condition here we have to input x1 and x2 so we have two combination that is zero zero okay initial combination is zero zero <coughs> we know that x1 is zero this is x1 this is x2 okay when x1 is zero definitely output is zero output is represented by a slash line after the slash line so this is the input this is the output this is x1 x2 when x1 is zero we can say that output is zero Okay, so it is it is within the circle. You draw a circle in that. Now, zero zero is there. That is the state. Now, there can be two conditions. <coughs> See, in the question, it is given. X one, X two never changes simultaneously. That means here X one is zero, X two is zero. If both are changing simultaneously, that means 1, 1 is the condition. Okay, 1, 1, 1, 1 is the condition that we don't consider. Why? In 1, 1, this x1 is changes to 0 to 1, x2 is also changes to 0 to 1. That means 
the two variables x1 and x2 changes simultaneously that is not allowed in this problem so only one variable change is taken into consideration so here one variable change means this is x1 this is x2 i am taking after drawing this arrow i am taking zero i am keeping zero as it is this bit x2 is changing to one so zero one that is the first combination for zero one what is output is zero why because x1 is zero when x1 is zero it should be zero that's why it is zero in another combination this i am changing this x1 changing x2 is keeping as it is here x x1 change x1 keep as it is x2 changes and in another variety x1 changes x2 is keeping why because at a time both the bits cannot be changed only one bit can change so i changed it to this 0 0 then this 1 0 it means x1 changes x2 no change 1 0 1 0 combination what is the output x1 is 1 so this condition what about output is said 1 when x2 is transition if there is a transition in x2 then only output become 1 if x1 is 1 here x1 is 1 now check for x2 this is x2 check the previous state of x2 0 0 to 0 previous state x2 0 present state x2 0 this 0 to 0 there is no transition 0 to 1 transition only you will get output 1 but 0 to 0 means no transition of states so output is 0 so this is over now we need to check for these two condition for 0 1 is there for 0 1 uh, what you have to do uh, simultaneous changes is not allowed so you are keeping 0 as it is 1 is changes to 0 0 0 0 0 output is 0 because x1 is 0 so output is 0 so it is there another combination 0 is changing 1 keeping as it is so 1 1 0 1 1 is there so x x1 1 what about x2 x2 is 1 previous state is 1 there is no state changes for x2 from previous to next both are same only now so output is 0 if there is a state change then only output become 1 here no state changes so output is 0 so that is there within a circle now consider this for 1 0 2 combination 1 1 1 is keeping as it is 0 is changes to 1 so 1 1 so 1 1 what is the output for present set x1 is 1 what about x2 x2 check this is the present state previous state is 0 present is 1 that is 0 to 1 transition is there so output is 1 that's why output i wrote it as 1 now another combination x1 is changing s2 as it is so 0 0 output is 0 0 0 output is 0 this is already defined so no more continue no more uh, flow diagram is not possible and uh, not necessary why because it is already defined here so no need to write again because it is there so this condition is here we defined so no need to draw again the chart here here also 0 0 output to 0 condition is defined so no need to draw again the graph but this is not defined 1 1 0 is there any 1 1 0 no so this we should define 1 1 1 is there any 1 1 1 no this also we should again define now the 1 1 condition in 1 1 condition you divide it 1 1 first one as it is 1 is changes to 0 here's first one changing second is as it is so 1 0 combination and 0 1 combination or 1 0 what is output x x1 is 1 x2 is 0 that if x1 1 then you have to check this condition x2 x2 changes from 1 to 0 so output there is a transition so output is 1 that is why output is 1 here 0 1 combination here 0 1 here 0 1 combination so the output is 0 here 0 1 combination x why because x1 is 0 definitely output is 0 what about this 1 0 0 1 here the output is uh, 1 0 means x1 is 1 x2 1 0 transition so output is 1 here x1 is 0 so output is 0 so now check it now this 4 0 1 0 is there in a 0 1 0 definition here it is defined so no need to draw again 1 0 1 is it is if it is check 1 0 1 now but here also 1 0 1 is there 
0 1 0 0 1 0 is defined 0 1 0 defined now these two are not defined either you can define this or this here I am taking this for another graph 1 0 is there so 1 0 1 so it is defined into 2 1 0 1 so I am changing the state 1 as it is, 0 is changed by because two variables cannot be changed simultaneously. Only one, one variable can change. 1, 0 changes to 1, so 1, 1. Output is 1. Why? Because x1 is 1, x2 changes to transition from 0 to 1, so output is 1. Here 0, 0, output is 0. So 1, 1, 1 already defined, 0, 0, 0 defined. So now we need to draw again. So this is the complete graph. Now you put this data state A and it is circled. Now it is state B as it is circled. This is C and it is circled. 0, 0, 0 already defined. So it is a 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. I am taking D. 1, 1, 1, E. 0, 0, A already defined. 1, 0, 1, F. 0, 1, 0, it is B only. 1, 0, 1, it is F only. 0, 1, 0, B only. 1, 1, 1, E only. 0, 0, 0, A only. So we completely define the flow chart or flow diagram. In next section, we will in next lecture I will discuss about uh, the flow table. Continuation of this uh, flow flow chart is in the next video I will discuss.